Hi, I'm Sharon and I just wanted to go through some insider tips on using your Lift Away The Years wand. You've probably purchased the product now and you've got a box with the full directions on how to use the product. However, I've been using it the longest because I developed the product and I just think it really helps if I can show you some insider tips on getting the best use out of the product. You will become addicted. First, you have to fill up the little rollerball head. And I've just popped some serum in there. The, the serum comes in the box with the product. You screw the product on. So you've got your rollerball head firmly attached. And then you turn the little button here, starting at the neck, really holding the skin firm, really massage the product up. And then to get that lovely lift on the jawbone, start holding the product pushing up so you can actually feel some pressure and then again under the cheekbone really lift under the cheek cheekbone best way of explaining is to say you're scooping up remember lift 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 and then right up into the corner and then you get that lovely firming um, of the jawline and a lifting of the cheekbone when you come up to the cheekbone sort of you can go this way you can go that way, always working up or to the side, applying some pressure, you're not going to hurt the skin. Pushing up and then when we come to this side of the, the face, this is the area that we tend to get fine lines and wrinkles. Um, we need to really soften those lines and wrinkles and pull the skin taut out to the outer temple. Best way of doing this, roll it right the way under the eye, right the way over and then hold in the temple here. When you hold in the temple, you get that lovely wide awake look to the eye. If you do one side of your face, you'll really notice the difference compared to the other. So remember, hold in the temple, hold in the temple. And then I'm going to come to the brow bone. Most of us start developing this hooding here, which tends to make us look a bit tired. So the best way to treat this area is to roll over right on the bone and then lift up. You see what I'm doing? I'm holding the nozzle right on under the brow bone and I'm lifting up right the way around and again right into the temple always remember if you're holding this way you're literally lifting the skin and then up onto the forehead just in little circular movements and again now if you have longer we say use product twice a day but if you have a little bit longer you go into a special event and you really want that strong difference in the skin then you can use the product for up to two minutes. You will become addicted, addicted. And like me, while you're watching Coronation Street, you can actually give yourself a facelift. So remember, hold. There's no wrong way of doing or using this product. But to get the very best results, remember, not too gentle. Scoop, use some pressure. Really scoop. The double chins as well, remember. Right the way under, and then hold into the jawline here, I'm holding just have a little practice when you first get your product sit yourself in front of the mirror look at both sides of your face and work on one and you will actually see the lift happening perfect in the morning time when your skin tends to become quite puffy because of lymphatic drainage or in the evening you need to release some fluid and then obviously before, eat, before you go to bed at night, I always use mine just as a way of applying my anti-aging serum because I know that I'm stimulating the skin all of the time that I'm using the product. Well, I hope that helps. I've got a lovely lifted face now, I hope.